Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Content Aware Fill to remove unwanted objects in your footage. So here is this little video clip that I shot of a biker on the Camino de Santiago. And if you look at the very bottom, you can see my shadow, otherwise known as a self-portrait. So I want to remove the shadow. I also want to move this little branch in the top left corner. And if you want your workspace to look just like mine, go up to the window menu, go to workspace and select default. There you should see the content aware fill panel on the right side. But if you want to use your own workspace, just go to the window menu. And you can also pull up the content aware fill panel from this menu. So the first thing I'll do is drag the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. And now I just need to mask out anything that I don't want in the footage. In order to draw a mask, you need to first select the layer then you can use either the shape tool or the pen tool. So I'll just click. You see, I'm going to use this first pen tool option. And then I'm just going to click points around the objects that I want to remove. I'm just clicking. I'll go to the first one to close out the mask. I'm going to click on these bottom handles and just make sure that it's all the way off the canvas. I'll twirl open the layer then twirl open masks. And in the drop down, it's currently set to add. You are going to be toggling between subtract and none. So first I'm going to set it to subtract. And now I've masked out that object. I'll do the same for this branch up here. So the layer is selected. I'm just going to click, 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 click. I'll go to the second mask and change it from add to subtract. And now we need to keyframe the masks to make sure that the masks are covering up the objects for the entire duration of the video. So I'll just twirl open both these masks. So I have my playhead at the very beginning. I'm going to click on the stopwatch next to mask path. I had both of them selected so I added a keyframe for both. And now you just move the playhead forward in time and you make adjustments to the mask any time that you can see the unwanted objects outside of the mask. And to make it easier to see the actual footage, change it from subtract to none. I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out of the comp window. And I'll press the space bar until I see the hand tool. So with the space bar pressed, I can move this all around. I have the selection tool selected. I'm going to zoom in to make sure the mask is covering everything. I see that's out a little bit. I'm just going to click on one of these points and just kind of modify it. Again, I'm just making sure that everything I don't want is inside of the mask transform box. And when you make changes, it's going to automatically add the keyframes. So I'll move forward, repeat until you get to the end. So my footage ends here. So I'm just going to tap on the keyboard shortcut and that's going to set the work area. Or I could just drag in this bar right here. And if yours fills up the entire timeline, there's no need to set the work area. It's now time to fill in the masks using the content aware fill panel. And if you have not already done so, first save your project. So go to file, save. Then we need to make sure that the masks are set to subtract. So I'll twirl open the layer. I'll select both masks, click on the drop down and change it from none to subtract. Then go up to the content aware fill panel. For the alpha expansion, I'm just going to leave that as is. For the fill method, I'm going to select object. For the range, I'm going to select work area since I set the work area. Set it to entire duration if you have your footage on the entire timeline. And then just click on generate fill layer. Now this can take a little bit depending on how long your footage is and it does require some pretty heavy computer processing. So just be patient, let it do its thing and then you should see the masks fill in like magic. In the layers panel you will see that After Effects automatically created a layer called fill and when I scrub through my footage the shadow and the branch is gone. Pretty cool. And that is how to use Content Aware Fill in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.